What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode summary preview analysis. Today, guys, we are going to be going over the episode 38's summary and or cast list and preview for this upcoming episode and potentially the la one of the last cast lists that we will be getting for this arc and i'll talk more about that when we actually get into it so yeah i'm very excited to get into this as always so without further ado guys let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it so the episode 38 title is called maximum unearthed Yuga and Co. have found the prototype dual discs. As they discover the Machine Cavalry Duel Club's secret, Asana shows up and challenges Yuga to a duel. Thus begins a decisive showdown, with Rush dueling and the pride of the Machine Cavalry Duel Club at stake. The cast list. We got Yuga, Rook, Rook, Rook Gakuto, Roman, Kaizo, Nail. Sebastian, Asana, wait, Sebastian, hold up a minute, I just realized that Sebastian's in this, we'll get into that in just a second, um, Asana, Galleon, Shrewer, Shrewer, Dove Rap, Caterpillio, Hanto, Rons, Renazuke, and Extras. So, yeah, based off of that cast list and summary, this more than confirms, or at least for me it does, that... This episode or this arc is going to be another 13 episodes. I do believe that this is going to be a two part duel similar to the Roa and Yuga duel and the Neo and the Yuga duel. They always do these two part duels for the finale, which I'm completely fine with. The longer the duel, the better it is for me. I get more invested with the decks the longer that the duels are. So I'm excited for that, which I'll kind of talk about that a little bit when we're going forward. Now, if you guys didn't know, if you're new to the channel, um, actually a couple of days ago, I did a video where I kind of talked about the problems in terms of their arc of the last three arcs and a problem that I have been seeing with these arcs and what we can do to fix them. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'll probably leave a link down in the description below. Probably most of you that have been on this channel probably have already seen that video, which thank you guys for the support on that as well. And just all the support you guys give me, I really do appreciate it. But kind of... When I talked about in that episode, and I actually kind of spoiled that in this video, that this arc s seems rushed. Because if this is going to be true, and that is going to be a another two episodes, and this is going to fill out the 13 episodes we've been seeing, that means in f around 40 to 50 minutes, I would say, they have to explain a lot. No, or... I'll, and I'll talk about this in a second, but not only do you have a lot to explain, but you have to do this duel as well, which I'm hoping is at the length and at the strength of the Yuga and Neil duel. That is probably still my favorite duel from this entire series so far, so I would love to be at the level of that. And it's going to be another maximum duel, so it'd be pretty interesting to see the maximum cards. We do see um, Asana have the maximum cards in her hand, which... I will say, though, that um, scene that we saw in the preview really looked like when Neil added them to his hand when he was using his trap cards and his or he used his monster cards, excuse me, to, like, remember he did that whole thing where he would shuffle cards back into the deck to keep drawing? He was able to get his three monsters in the, to his hand, and it kind of looked in a similar way to that, which I will say, though, a worry with this duel that I'm really terrified of is I'm worried that this duel might start to get to the point where this show might start to feel repetitive with these duels. Because this is going to be another maximum duel, so this is going to be a potential maximum on maximum. But this is, is this just going to be the same thing that we saw last time? I mean, the setup is already the same. This is their second time dueling after Yuga got from a loss. He now has to figure out a way of how to deal with maximum cards. Because remember, he didn't have maximum cards until he was actually in the duel. Remember, he had that Rush Duel programming where he changed his friend's ID accounts to Rush Duel cards. He didn't even originally have them. He just created it on the spot. And he doesn't have that luxury in this, so what is he going to do? Which, I have two ideas of what's going to end up happening. One, 
it has to do something with this mining when they're finding these old dual discs. Maybe they can find some way to create these cards because all they really need is three plain card holders and they can make these maximum cards, or at least I am assuming to. Yuga had to go into his lab and actually use a computer, so unless it's down there or he can use it by his dual disc, I don't know how he's going to create maximum cards in the ground. Or maybe there's something built into the friends Rook, Roman, and um, Gakuto's ID accounts to where it can change back into a maximum card, and maybe he tampered with their dual discs to where they can actually take their ID count id cards out of their dual disc whenever they want so they can potentially give it to yuga and they can go into duel which before anyone asks well why didn't he just do that in the last duel because a they didn't know well actually that's a big reason they didn't know that asana had maximum cards they kind of don't want maximum cards i guess to exist because only neil and yuga were the ones that had maximum cards and plus that was his friend's id accounts he was not going to keep them but maybe desperate times called for desperate measures he might have to do that same thing again which i am just hoping that is not the case because that's literally the same setup that we had in the last one now something very interesting that's Probably going to show up in this duel. I would be very surprised if it didn't. Yuga has a new ace monster that he's probably going to use in this episode. That is is a card that is able to go against maximum cards. It's basically something that's going to be bad for maximum cards. So is that the way he's going to win this duel? I would love if that's the case. I know a lot of people would like to see a new maximum card from him. Or maybe just see Overroad again. Even though I would like just to see a new maximum card. I think the maximum cards have looked pretty cool. I did love YGG Drago. I, that's still my favorite maximum card out of all the three ones that we've seen so far. And they just have been good designs. It would be cool to see another one. But who knows? It probably is going to be Overroad if I'm going to be honest. If they are going to give Yuga a maximum card, I think they're just going to give everyone just one maximum card. And it's just going to be the ones that they already have. For in this case, Yuga will just only have Overroad. But I could be wrong. We will see what happens. But I'm hoping that that's the way he beats it. Because what is he just going to use Overroad to win again? Similar to how the Neil duel went out. He used Overroad to beat his YGG Drago. Is that going to just be the same case where he uses Overroad to beat Asana's maximum monster? Who really knows? But hopefully there is a good amount of differences. That way this episode doesn't just feel repetitive. But not only do you have all that dueling action to go, this is what I mean by the storylines. We need to know how she acquired maximum cards. We still have not learned how she obtained maximum cards. You have to explain that. This whole old dual styling. Remember that flashback with her grandpa and what he was talking about? Or grandfather and what he was talking about? Maybe get it a little bit more in depth of what the heck that was about. Her relation to Otis, I, I think this is a pretty interesting one because you look at the opening, we see Yuga and then you see the screen pa um, panning up and you see Asana, Neil, and Roa and, and then you have Otis on the top as well. And every single one of these characters has a relation to Otis except for Asana. There is no way you're telling me you are putting her in that opening with Yuga and Neil and not having some connection with Otis. I would be very disappointed if there was no connection, but I think there will be some connection that they will explain. I, or at least I really hope so. I mean, we have no indication that it might be the case, but again, I, I guess we didn't really know that with Neil. So, well, I take that back on the Neil because he was working for Goha, but yet again, Asana kind of has been working for Goha as well. So, she probably has connection to him. I, I wouldn't worry about it. But think about that. Three major things that you have to explain and have a big duel in literally just two episodes. 50 to 40 to 50 minutes, you have to explain all of this. That is a very short amount of time when you really look at it. And especially if you're going to go into the terms of the Neil duel. Remember, episode 26 was just a full dueling episode. So if you want to not count 39 and have 39 just as a full dueling episode and maybe have the first, like, maybe you have only like 10 minutes in just dueling for this episode. That means you only got around like probably 10 minutes to explain everything, which is not possible. There is no way you're explaining everything in 10 minutes without it feeling rushed. So, yeah, there's just a lot of things. Either the duel's going to get shortened or the story's going to get shortened, which 
looking at what kind of this arc has done, I'm pretty sure they're going to go with the story and kind of cut that down a little bit. I think they're going to be more focused on the duel than probably the plot. I mean, if you look through this and plot this entire series, I just feel like it's rushed. Because you look at these last four episodes, and even though the Chevalier or Dove rap, what the heck, whatever the heck that episode was... That was probably the most important duel that we've actually had in these last four episodes. I mean, what did Sebastian... Kind of, well, I guess they were able to get to Neil and get his involvement, which, let's be honest, Neil has done crap this episode that we have not already known. He kind of explained everything to Yuga, but we already knew that. Or, well, there were some things that we didn't know, but still, like, he's done nothing. Now, to be fair, Neil can't do anything. He can't duel. He doesn't have any... He doesn't have a duel account right now. Remember, his duel... His, um... Account got terminated after that duel, so he can't really do anything. So, it, it, it's kind of hard just to see what they're really going to do. And another weird thing, and speaking of Sebastian, why the heck is he on this cast list? Isn't he dead? <laughs> and I know that kind of sounded like a sad and harsh, but isn't he dead? How the heck is he alive? Unless this is like a flashback or something like that. Sebastian is dead. How in the world is he going to be in this story when he is dead? It doesn't make any sense, but that is something that I, I, that is the most weirdest thing from this cast is everything else made sense except for Neil. And you know, and I understand that he hasn't been in this arc, so it doesn't make sense. Another character I wish we saw was going to see in this episode, just to make an appearance, just to see him since we haven't seen him in a while. Roa, where the heck is my boy Roa at? I mean, come on, we need Roa in this show again. We need to have the pep talk again. I mean, I want to just go back and just see what the heck happened when Yuga and Roa were just talking in the apartment, and Roa literally grabbed Yuga by his collar, you know, giving him a bro talk. Probably we don't even know what happened he probably punched him who really knows i want to see that kind of stuff again but you know Roa's just kind of been shafted in this arc which is definitely something i'm going to be talking about at the end of arc um video that i'm going to do after probably episode 39 when it's con when we get a confirmation of what it was expect it to be after the episode review when i go over the end of arc video but that is really much I have to say. In terms of this duel, Yuga has to win this duel. There is no, like, other way around it. Yuga has to win this duel. Now, another thing that I've been hearing people talk about, because I haven't made a video on this, and I'm probably not going to make a video on this, there actually is going to be a time change going, I believe, in the start of April, or it's, like, the very end of March. I can't remember the date of it, but there's going to be a shift. It's going to just be a day shift, so the actual reviews in Japan are going to come out on Saturdays, probably meaning that if it takes, um, Entime two days to do it, it probably is going to mean that reviews probably is going to start coming out on Mondays for you guys, unless they are still able to get them out on Sundays, which... Hopefully they just decide to take the two days they've been doing and just do it on Monday. I mean, that doesn't bother with my schedule at all. So I just want to let you guys know if you guys didn't already know that. And a lot of speculation was going around that maybe they'll extend the episodes to that length to kind of fit towards where it will go into the next arc at the start of a new time slot. I don't believe that, and the reason for that is, is because of the fact that they are starting the duel right away. We know that the duel is in progress based off of the preview. That means that they would have to try to last this episode, I think like four episodes, just to make that gap. There is no way in hell that they're going to be able to do this. The only way that that's going to be possible is that they just do a lot of story, which is what I want to see. But in terms of the duel, not much dueling is going to end up happening. Probably one or two turns just to fit everything. If we're going to Neil Yuga length, which was, I believe, seven turns or something like that. You did two turns every episode. That would mean it, make it eight turns, which would be that length. So it would work. But then the duel just kind of feels like, okay, I just want to see the dueling action. I mean, sure, the dueling action might still be good, but I want to see it consistent back and forth. That's why I love the episode 26 where it was just the full dueling episode because it was just action, 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 nonstop action, and I absolutely loved it. So 
I feel like doing that, I really wouldn't like that. So I don't believe that they're going to do that. I feel like they're just going to stick with the 13 episodes. Also, I just don't think it's going to make sense to extend it that long also for the DVD sets. Remember, they've been doing 13 episodes every DVD. I really don't think they care about extending it any further. I think they want to keep it the same consistent way they've been doing it, and it's been 13 episodes. So... They're probably just going to stick to 13 episodes for that DVD set as well, which would end the arc right there. So I feel like they're just going to stick with 13 episodes. I don't think they're going to extend it for that time gap. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I kind of just wanted to mention that. Um, I didn't mention it in a video, so I just thought, why not just do it in this video? But really, that's going to be it. I don't think there is anything else that I have to really talk about this. And definitely let me know, guys what your thoughts are of this upcoming episode. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. And just let me know what you guys think about having this arc in another 13 episodes. I know I made the whole video about it and you guys are probably already giving your opinions on that. But let me know what you just think about this arc. Do you want the arc to extend a little bit more? Which I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love the episodes to go a little bit longer, but... Honestly, I really don't think they're going to do that, which sucks. I don't want to be the Demi Downer. I just want to just be realistic about it. They're going to stick with the 13 episodes. I don't see them changing their style just because of them shifting days. I mean, it happens. Companies do that before where they might shift days. Like if there's a business meeting or something like that, they might shift the days. They'd be more beneficial to them. Maybe longer work days might be beneficial on the Wednesdays companies do that so that is the situation with this and i don't think they're just going to change episode lengths just an arc lengths just to do that so yeah let me know what you just think about this arc ending and yeah that's just going to be it guys but hey i i'm really hoping that this is going to be a great deal i hope that this is up to the capacity the equalness of the Yuga and Neo duel. I know that sentence didn't make any sense, but you know what? It's fine. I'm excited for this duel. I really am excited for this. But guys, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day.